Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi taurus this is shah and this is welcome back and this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd as you've already know and your first card is the eight of cups and it's called the pathfinder you're trying to find a new path and with this card i always say sorry for the glistening um, you want adventure and excitement and you're looking into the future or into the distance as to where to go but don't throw old shoes away before you get a new pair. In other words, don't throw anything away like a job or a new, uh, an old love. Try to work it through before you get start getting a new love or a new job. Because, like, if you <laughs> like, let's talk about a job. If you haven't got a job, how are you going to pay the bills? That's why you have to stay in the same mundane job that you don't like. And you want excitement and fulfillment. You could also give it an other twist. Try to go to your employer and say, well, can I do this? Can I do that? Or can we do this? Try to be inventive and creative. That is exciting in its own way. But eight also means that you are in your power. You know what you feel strong and you feel confident that you can do anything but like the saying go do things in haste you will have to repent in leisure now the Lenaman card that you have is the page of wands the page of clubs Here you can see and it look he's got his eyes slightly sque squeezed together <laughs> like he's thinking I don't know whether you can see it but the page of ones will bring you news this could be with regards to a job action is job and he stands for passion as well something that you're passionate about then you won't get so um, bored and also swiftness logic you want to use your brain you want action you want excitement that is what the other card is telling you so use your brain and go back to the employer don't be scared you know this is the uh, whip and bright um, the whip uh, card and the and the broom card but it's o only depict depicted differently in this deck it means um, disagreements and arguments you might have disagreements or grievances or arguments with your boss but it's not wise not to be inventive be uh, creative um, as you can surprise him and he might even come back to you and this might be the news yes I think you've got some good ideas there so come back and we'll talk but keep calm you are being warned forewarned is forearmed you've also got the angels with you and that's the doorway the 11 is the doorway and an angel number to step into something new it's up to you and one on one is two so it will bring you into balance wow so be careful what you say and how you say it be inventive and creative now if there was injustice done at work then I can understand why you want to move on but justice will be done because you have got justice and look at the angels feather and I was just saying the angels are with you again a sign from the angels that they have your back justice will be done you will get what you deserve and so will they if you are in a judicial situation could be at work could be in your private life or any out with anything else you could even be meeting a Libra as the scales stand for Libra again a number 11 so you've got two 11s 
Wow. Then we have the Ace of Clubs, the Ace of Clover, as I call it. I like that name better. It's not a real clover, but it's clubs. It's wands. So that means action, passion, creativity, logic, hobbies, job, passion in a romantic sphere. Remember that passion does not last. So if you want to um, maintain this relationship and build on it, on this passion and then know your boundaries and their boundaries because they're a fire sign an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that's coming your way and if you are already hooked up in some way perhaps not with a fire sign then the ring is saying that you might go up a next step you might be getting engaged or you might be getting married instead of engaged you getting married and getting a step up and you've got number seven which is good luck like I said, everything will be back in balance. Perhaps you were waiting on a divorce to finalize and now you can get married or get engaged to get married. Awesome, because the scales are institutions and municipalities and register office is officiality as well. Then you have the Ten of Cups. You are getting your reward, like it says at the bottom of the card, reward. You'll be celebrating with family and friends, ultimate happiness and bliss. Perhaps reunion with family and friends, perhaps actually this might be the, the wedding party. Even though it's the COVID, now they have lessened, uh, 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 eased up on the rules. And like in Holland, I was reading somewhere, there was a wedding and they wanted to invite 200 guests but they were only allowed to have a hundred guests so they had two parties problem solved an ending to difficulties and a new beginning to happiness and it's lying next to the ring so definitely marriage institutions and then we have the queen of hearts the queen of hearts and we've got the stalk the stalk in Lenormand means that the, you might be finding out you're pregnant. Boom, that's why you're getting married. And the stalk also means there will be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or in an issue. Like I said, if you didn't get your right or justice before, you will get it now. 360 degrees turnaround. You might be moving home and you might be building a nest. Now, the Queen of Hearts is a caring, nurturing, loving, sensual and sexy lady. You, uh, this could be that you could, uh, the Queen of Hearts is Scorpio, but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. They might help you, or you might find out that she is pregnant. Okay, now if you don't want to get pregnant, if you're a lady, then take precautions. And the same goes for the man, if you don't want to become a father, take precautions and with this card the ten of cups that could also mean extending the family getting pregnant of course or adopting the last card for the weekend because that's Friday this is Wednesday and that's Monday is the three of Pentacles you have recognition for your hard work now I'm coming back to the beginning you wanted something new well you definitely have at the end of the week and you had grievances with your employer you went back to talk to him or her and the angels had your back and luck is on your side and they are calling you back in you've got recognition for your ideas your hard work and the truth is out boom there you go and you are ambitious as you have the tower you have the tower now the tower in Lenormand means different than um, the tarot, but I do keep it in the back of my mind. Unexpected changes, something wasn't built on a proper foundation. Perhaps your relationship with or understanding with your previous employer or uh, partner in business uh, didn't go well or wasn't clear and wasn't built on proper foundations. There were no contracts signed in the beginning of starting this partnership and now justice is here you have changed that you've tweaked it 
and you've got a contract making agreements who does what and who brings in what shares etc etc you've sorted it out because um, now you uh, it wasn't built on proper foundations and now it is and the uh, with the tower uh, in tarot I always say well the divine has given you this new beginning this unexpected change when one door closes 20 will open then and now it will be built because you've twigged it okay the truth is out it's settled it's back in balance and you are and remain ambitious as that is what the tower means in the Lenaman. but whilst you're climbing to the top please keep uh, regard for loved ones family and friends make time for them that is the warning otherwise you when you get to the top it will be pretty lonely and you've also got the uh, six of uh, spades which is the six of swords you're moving away from rough waters to quiet waters like I said you might be moving home or expending your family it could be also your business as the stalks mean moving home as well and a 360 degrees turnaround that could be that your partnership is fine now and you've sorted out the legalities and who does what and you're back in balance because 1 and 9 is 10 and that is an even number that is balanced and there's an ending a new beginning where there's an ending there's a new beginning you are climbing to the top fast but make time for your family and friends you have recognition from the your boss or from the um, the community that is what the three of pentacles means okay now we're going to the um what was this deck called the avalonian uh, oracle and you have the source so the source is a beautiful card it looks like there is also a new beginning it looks like the cave so bear with me bear with me I'm still getting to know this deck but a lot this is a pagan deck and this is like the entrance to the uh, underworld or other worlds and it also represents the mount the sacred mount that's where the fool appeared from in the mythological stories so this is the beginning and the ending and it's it, it's always there it is going nowhere that is the mythological uh, meaning of this card the divinary meaning is bursting forth with potential yes definitely this card represents the regenerative power of the universe and its ability to create all things from nothingness to birth new life from the void and this is the birth card and what else this is the birth card and this could be the birth card expending expanding the family or business new starts brilliant that is what you seek allow the force forces of creation to move through you and pour out into the world while also recognizing the wisdom of stillness and rest never forget that you are a vessel through which the mystery of the divine become manifested in the physical world this is a fertile time in many respects so be sure that you are planting seeds with consciousness you are be being called to look at the big picture and to ensure that you understand the larger context of the situation and that is like if you're planting seeds your ideas so they can f uh, grow and that they can come into material world like going out together uh, getting stable and being balanced having passion having love starting a family um, and uh, moving home and building that is what you have to do consciously trust that 
deep within you even though times may seem troubled because of the COVID for example and you feel that you are wandering around in the darkness the sacred light of the source shines brightly waiting for you to remember the truth of your connectedness to all the angels the feather wow the great lesson that we are a part of the universe and not apart from it is striving to make itself known to you your perspective is what needs to shift in order to integrate the healing power of this truth justice distance yourself from the minute of the present situation in order to perceive the over arching pattern of the greater force at work release your attachment to people situations and outcomes in order to make space to allow even greater blessings to flow into your life well number 10 of cups is the ultimate blessing card it's beautiful the affirmation that you can use is or when you sit down and meditate or contemplate and evaluate is I am an active co-creator definitely of life open to all potential and celebrating myself as a facet of eternity I'm consciously connected to source and as such am kindred to all that is rooted in the light of the divinity there is nothing I cannot manifest nor there any part of me that is not holy or all so it doesn't matter whether you, you know you you're only whole when you're going up to the other realm because then you've finished this phase of your stage in spirituality you're moving on to the next one but now you are here and you have to be more concert, uh, focused on what is happening here so that you can get the right perspective to make the next step and preferably without a quarrel be creative take action do things with a pure and passionate heart right like the Queen of Hearts take care of yourself first before you can take care of somebody else that is what I'm getting here as an extra message for you self-believing and beyond Wow I couldn't have said better and then I see that kite and then I get to hear spread your wings castles in the sky dreams can hang in the balance the word balance comes into this reading quite a bit sometimes dangling and on barely a thread or you may find yourself grasping at wisps of visions in the busy intersection of expectation you may become frustrated when nothing or only very little appears to be happening although time may have dashed your hopes or rerouted a few prayers nothing is lost what is needed now is to keep your sights set on the goodness within you and around you like family and friends and not just on money where's the tower there to keep your sights set on good within you and around you keep believing in beauty and truth of your heart's desire only then will you be carried on the wings of hope and faith and wings and I just said to you spread your wings okay and I don't know whether you know that song but it's a beautiful song you're my hero by Bette Midler and it's like the then it, uh, the words in the song is also you're the wind beneath my wings go and have a look on Google uh, YouTube uh, you're my hero by Bette Midler it's a beautiful song and that's what I got to hear 
you are somebody's hero. Improving health. So get your balance back and that will improve your health as well. I hope you have enjoyed this reading Taurus and take care and be blessed. If you're on holiday, enjoy your holiday and come home safely. Take care and please like and share. Thank you.